You know the people who actually robbed the poor man's shop there, right? Like we got witnesses, right? Right? Come yeah. on, right, right, we got with I got witnesses to swear anything on, on who done it and, and it hasn't been done yet and it's gonna be done and, 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 and people from off this estate was was up the road singing and chanting and all that, right? Right, but we know why people ain't gonna say nothing, because they afraid something's gonna come through their front window. And where are right? their parents? They could have been more than ten. Uh, ten years old. Yes, a tenant. That that is a tenant. Right? Well, I lost it. I see him. I, I, I actually, I actually see him. I see him. Yeah. Well, 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 then I'll tell you what happened, yeah? No locals popped the lock. Uh, no locals did that. You know? Uh, one of my people, opposite Civil Space, said some white guy popped the lock. Yeah. You know, I'm not being funny, not being racist. Black people don't know how to pop locks. You know, they're more in the dealing side of things, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. You know? The white guy got the Big bag of goodies, brung it out, and said, This is for you, Lord. It's not set up by any criminal gangs. We ain't got gangs smart enough. All the gangs around here allegedly smoke weed and sleep all day. How the hell are they gonna. How the hell are they gonna set up flipping riots across the country? You understand? No, if they were that smart, then they would have robbed some banks or something. In it! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come, on. Come on, let's go. Those young people might get their such as, oh, there's nothing to do. Yeah, there's no excuse for doing that. There's nothing to do. 
do you know? I said, sure, maybe they can find something to do. Yeah, well, I think I think it's, well, it's used far too much behaviour. Well, I hear every day professionally. Well, I'm sick of it. Now, my husband's a deputy head, he is it. He's sick of it. Or well, whatever situation, you cannot ever, in my opinion, justify this. We've had over the London last, what, four or five nights? Nothing to justify what we've had. I've seen it. My God. You know, I think it's for a divine our country that is vast. It's a parallel universe that we're living in. And I'm sure you agree with that. It's a parallel, parallel universe. universe. Of the workers and the ones that don't. It's so cultured that they're. Well, well they're the mess in this culture of, um, of hand me downs, isn't it? Culture that. It's their culture. And they don't work. The mothers, the mothers don't work, the kids don't work, they go on unemployment. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me, give me, I want this, I want that. Yeah, it's because they've got no value. I mean, well, because there's no value in anything, they don't care. Yes, I think it's shocking. 